Looking for a changeover. Our number 10 seed, <laughs> Daria Kasatkina, thank you so much for joining us at our Tennis Channel Cadillac desk. Um, unfortunate situation today for Claire Liu, but um, it seemed very one-sided up until then. Do you, do you know by, by any chance that Claire hurt herself in the middle or, or what ended up happening? Uh, well, so as you know, we stopped the match yesterday on yeah. two all juice. Uh, and today, after I don't know, maybe we played very long the game on three all, it was a very long game. Uh, and I don't know, after like five minutes in the match, she asked for a physio. So they checked her blood pressure and stuff. Was no medical timeout, was nothing. So after that, I saw her struggling. I don't know exactly with what breathing or something, but she was physically struggling. Uh, yeah. She took a long uh, bathroom break after the first set, and after the first game of the of the second set, she retires. I tried to ask what happened, but I saw she was struggling, so just let her go. It's a difficult situation, isn't it? But that happens quite a bit. We saw Tommy Paul had to retire with an injury today. Um, um, Zhu Lin had to retire as well. It, it's it's very tough on the body. When you see that in an opponent, do you adjust your game at all? Well, I remember when I, when I was a kid, like a junior, and then when I saw my opponent like struggling, injured, or you know, struggling physically, actually I was getting tired because I see that she's giving me points, she's not running for some of the balls, yeah. and I cannot pull the ball inside. Right, right. right, right. <laughs> so yes, uh, but uh, now I'm a bit. I, I don't want to say more used to it, but I'm kind of taking it more calm. So I'm just know how to tell to myself how to just keep go doing the things I have to do. Uh, and that's it. Yeah, it seems like our court is unlucky court today because Tommy was on our court. So, yeah, well, I know so I think he's tr like he got injured, he got injured. injured. So, yeah, yeah it's happened. Unfortunately, tennis is like this. We have very long and uh, uh, tough season we have like tournaments in a row and uh, yes sometimes it happens we're not iron man's unfortunately no it's unfortunate but you're a pro so you 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 handled it great um let's talk about all the fascinating things that are going on off the court now you're a big superstar with your your vlog so can you just give us a little bit of an insight into what we can expect maybe from the next episode uh you know what like, I like a sneak preview i am not it my, it's not my first appearance in this studio this week. <laughs> you think it's the first one? It's not. Uh, has, has there been some uh, s uh, some uh, some back footage here when, yeah, when we so were here? Yeah. So the day before the tournament start, everything was set up here. Okay. You were not here, guys. So we sneak inside and we record ourselves like being in the studio. That's fantastic. Yeah. That's fantastic. So Did this you do is some one of the clues, and then it's gonna be quite rich. Uh, episode, <laughs> I must tell you, uh, with a lot of like small talks with the players and also with the inside of like of yesterday rain delay being in the same locker room under the Grandstand Stadium yesterday when was the rain yep, delay. Yep. There were six players during their matches locked in the locker rooms with uh, Donna, with the supervisor yep. and the, the physio. Like it's gonna uh, Sloan Stevens was there, so she gonna appear there. But this <laughs> uh, this sounds amazing. When does this episode come out? Uh, probably next Saturday. Next Saturday. So in one week. Everybody, everybody, mark your calendars. Their next blog is coming out next Saturday. Beautiful. Thank um, you. Also, I, I do need to ask you. I'm a I'm a huge coffee guy. I'm yeah. a huge huge coffee guy. And um, you know, I want to see if your coffee representative, Natalia, as you put her on your uh, on your yeah. IG, does she does she have any expert um, recommendations for you both your favorite coffees? Here in Miami. Yeah. Uh, well. We've got one. Also, you're gonna see it in the vlog. Oh. The really cool place. We call it Instagrammable place. So it's uh, Argentinian place called Beautiful. Sky Coffee Buenos Aires. Oh my God! Free ad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so it's basically it's in Brickell and uh, it's basically on the parking lot. Okay. The half of the private jet there, and it's a coffee shop. So wow. it's super nice and uh, they made everything just to make a picture. They're actually very smart. They don't need advertising because people just go there, they make pictures, post them on Instagram or t like post the videos on TikTok and it's uh, advertising for free. Genius. So, yeah, and Genius. then there are also some other coffee shops. If I will tell the names again, it's a free ad. <laughs> I, I, can send you by, I can send you it by text if you want. There okay. are many, many. 
<laughs> more than in jam whales, I must tell you. Okay, okay, <laughs> that sounds great, Daria. Listen, well, c congratulations, and um, when you win your next round, please come and chill with us so we can uh, get more into all the interesting stuff that you have. Yeah, thank you very much. By the way, Green Tennis Channel is better than uh, Yellow One, which was in Indian Wells. It's my favorite color. <laughs> Thanks to, for listening to me we, <laughs> last week. We, we got it just for you. Thank you, dear. Thank you very much. Thank you, Thank you guys.